Hey, what's your name? Dave Sabrant. Where are you from? Ottawa, Ontario. Cool. Uh, who taught you how to play bridge? Uh, my mom and my stepdad. And how old were you at the time? Ten. And how old are you now? Twenty-six. So you've been playing for quite a long time. What made you stick with the game at the time? What did you like about it? Wow. I don't really know what I, I mean, liked back, about it. back then, yeah. I don't really... I can't remember what I liked about it, but I remember the first game that I played. After we finished and they posted the results, immediately I wanted to play another session. So there was something about it that made me want to play so you, another they, 24 They posted minutes. the results. Were you top of the list? No, or? we were hopeless. I mean, I, I didn't even know what a Michael's Cubit was. I, mean, <laughs> I started yelling at my partner when he alerted my Michael's Cubit. <laughs> telling him who, that it was hearts. I bit hearts, I must have hearts, right? Who was your partner at the time? Oh, I was playing with my stepbrother. Okay. Yeah. And um, who is your partner now? I play with Jeff Smith from Ottawa, and uh, as well as Gordy Zinn, my partner on one of my partners on the Canadian Junior team. Okay, cool. And is there before you started playing with them? Is there something? Uh, any any attributes you look for in a partner? Yeah, you have to be on the same page in the sense that your bidding theory and your general approach and your attitude has to mesh. I mean, whether it's you're conservative or aggressive as a partnership, you have to understand what your style is and you really have to stick to that. And you have to accept the fact that with the, ba with the good, there's always going to be the bad, no matter what version of the system you're playing or anything else. So you have to not necessarily result, but realize that you're working towards kind of a bigger picture. Yeah. And uh, so you've been, you've gone to a few tournaments with me, I know, and uh, we've had many fun and interesting experiences together. Is there anything that uh, maybe stands out in your mind? Any memorable bridge story, even unrelated to bridge? No, I can't, I can't think of one in particular. You know, there's been a lot of stories, and I'm sure if you watch all the other movies, you met you meet any girls in at any of these tournaments along the way? No, 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 no girls. No, you know I've, I've, I usually I usually have I know a you're girlfriend. I know you're settled down now. You have a nice girlfriend now, right. but what about before this? Well, girl? in the past, you know, some of these trips overseas into Europe. I mean, uh, there's a wide variety of people, and uh, especially you know in the past, Canada hasn't always done so well. So the weeks are short of playing bridge, <laughs> and after you know you're done playing bridge, there's not any, really anything else to do. So. You get to enjoy other things other than bridge. <laughs> we, I can take some inferences from that and <laughs> be creative. Uh, do you have any uh, advice for any uh, juniors around the world? Yeah, play a lot. Play a lot. If you want to get good, you got to play a lot. you got to make mistakes before you can understand why you're making them. Thanks, man.